Hey folks, welcome back. It's Wednesday night. It's uh, less than 24 hours until I leave for Guntersville. Uh, the boat's all ready to go. I'm here at uh, Cavan's workshop at uh, Western Signs. I want to send a big thank you out to Cavan for letting me use his workshop to work on the boat. And as well, a big thank you to Lauren, who's helped me out uh, installing some new electronics, uh, some batteries and stuff. It's been a great support. Uh, I also want to say thank you to everyone that's emailed me over the last few days. Since I sent out the press release, I've gotten emails from uh, fellow tournament anglers, uh, people I've met at seminars I've done. Everyone's been very supportive and uh, I'm very excited for uh, the season coming up. Uh, I want to spe send a special thanks out to my friends in Quebec. Um, it's great to hear from all of you and, uh, and I'll be out there fishing for you guys too. All right, so. Here's the update on what's going on down in Guntersville. Uh, the past couple days has been super cold there. I think the low last night was minus seven. Uh, the weather report's calling for highs of 20 during practice, so I'm really excited about that. Should get some of those big largemouth feeding. Um, even with the low temperatures, a tournament back on Sunday, it took, uh, if I remember correctly, it took 23 pounds to win. So even though the water temperature is still down around 45 degrees, those big fish are still there. I'm so pumped to get out there. I'm, uh, you know, the lake's full of, you know, six, seven, eight, up to ten pound bass, even great, even bigger. And I'm hoping to pick up uh, one of my personal bests. Practice starts on Saturday. I'm going to put in long days, four days, hard days, and uh, of course I'll be providing updates every night when I get back to the hotel. Um, stay tuned. It's going to be good for you. So over the last few days, I've had a few people ask me, "Well, Charles, what's your goals for the year?" And uh, this is actually pretty important to me. I always like to set goals for my season ahead so I know how I'm doing and I, and I have something to achieve. I always fish better, perform better at anything when I have a goal I'm trying to achieve. So my goals are pretty simple. Um, I'd love to make the championship. They take the top 40. Uh, due to double qualification, they'll probably take about 50. Um, so my goal is top 40 in the year end standings. I'd also really like to make three checks. That's that's kind of high in my first year, but that's my goal for this year. Three checks. If I get paid at least three times, I'll be pretty happy. Um, a third goal, if I can get in for one top ten, I figure six events, seven events with the championship. If I can get in for one top ten, that'll be a, that'll be a great goal, and a great achievement for me. So those are my goals, and uh, we'll talk about that again at the end of the year, and we'll see if we meet those goals. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I'm going to wrap up with a few things I'm excited about, a few things I'm nervous about. Uh, of course, I'm really excited with the opportunity to get my personal best largemouth. Guntersville's, Guntersville's full of big fish. I'm super excited to use the new Corrado. Uh, they came out uh, mid to late last year, and because of my tennis elbow, I really didn't get to use my new one. So, you know, Saturday I'll be on the water, I'll be testing that out. That uh, E7 is going to be a fantastic reel, I think. Um, what I'm nervous about? Well, I'm nervous about being on a new body of water. It's a big lake, it's 55 miles long, and there's a lot of water cover. So I've got a bit of a plan laid out. I'm going to break down my practice into uh, uh, three areas, and I have the fourth day I'll spend in whichever area I think is going to be most productive for me. So that about wraps this up. Uh, next time I talk to you, I'll be in Guntersville, Alabama. and. Uh, Hopefully I'll have some good news for you. And for those of you out there who haven't signed up for Fantasy Fishing, get online, fantasyfishing.com. It's a free shot, millions of, millions of dollars available. Um, log on, pick 10 guys, and have a good time with it. Take care. We'll see you in Alabama.